this right now. I'm obsessed with the Basswood Naturals Wild Strawberry Rose Infused Tinted Lip Balm. It is seriously just the perfect pop of color and I still feel like myself. I've talked about this before, but now, however many videos later, I'm still loving it. It's just still so gorgeous and I need to order more. They are so affordable. I need to make the mental note to order more. Anyway, hello, happy Monday. How are you guys? First off, I wanna say thank you so much for anybody who left a comment last week um, and just the sense of community I felt and the sense of friendship. It was so uplifting to my spirit. I had a really great week and I wanna thank you guys so much for kind of dealing with my emotional roller coaster right now. I'm sure you guys are all experiencing the same thing. And yeah, it's just... Okay, so that kind of leads me to the what I want to start today with, which is the mindful moment. I have been taking my kids to exercise and swim to the beach. And the beach that we go to, you have to walk down this really steep hill to get there. And of course, after we play and swim and have a great time, we have to save energy to get back up that hill. Sometimes my kids don't save any energy to get back up the hill and there's complaining. <laughs> so at, on, you know, random different days, I've had talks with both of my older kids that can walk up the hill on their own about this idea of how to overcome this hill. And so I talk through them what you do in mountain climbing, which is to not look up constantly at the where you're trying to go, but to look on your look at your feet and focus on each step. And then after however many steps, take a look up where you're going, keep going. Don't focus on how far you have to go, focus on each step. So it's interesting because I've been going on more runs than I normally would, and I've been forcing myself to run up these big hills, like over a mile long hills, because I don't know, I feel like if I'm forcing my kids to have this mindset of one step at a time, that I should kind of be forcing myself to do it too. And so, it's interesting because as I've been going on these long hill runs, I've been reminding myself that life is so much like this, where it's like if you're focusing on where you're trying to go or where you're hoping to be, um, it can seem impossible to get there. But you know, if you look down at your feet and you focus on each step, you're there before you know it. So I did this long run yesterday and I seriously had this rocky moment when I got to the top and I had my arms up in the air and I was just like, I did it and it wasn't that painful because I didn't keep think fixating on where I was trying to go. I just was just one step at a time. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. <laughs> okay, moving on, let's talk about the new new. And the new new well, one is new and one is old, but are, these are Ray Dunn mugs. Now, I follow a woman on Instagram named Nisi Evans, and her daughter, it's not even her actually, it's her daughter, she posted a picture of one of her daughter's Instagram posts, and her daughter has this Ray Dunn mug so, uh, obsession. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm a coffee fiend. Like, I am gonna have to look up this artist and I might have to get one of these mugs. So sure enough, this is the first one I bought uh, like a couple months ago. It says boss. <laughs> they, they had one that said mom boss and I was like, forget that. Like, <laughs> we're boss over here. And so then I saw this one that said adventure awaits and I was just like, <gasps> be still my soul I have to have that so now I have these two beautiful mugs I make sure one of them is clean every single morning and I am telling you right now if you are a coffee lover that will elevate your morning all right let me update you on some of my feelings about bathing culture the hero products from beauty heroes the beauty discovery service this month if you're not familiar with beauty heroes I'll link all their information below 
This was the Hero product, which is this gigantic bottle of soap. It's in a glass bottle. It's got this gorgeous rainbow packaging. If you are a Beauty Heroes subscriber and you're waiting for your box, I thank you for your patience. They have had a little bit of delay sourcing these pumps, and so not all the subscribers have gotten their boxes, and Thank you. Beauty Heroes, Jeannie Jarno said that they have not had one person complain. And so if you're a subscriber and you're patiently waiting, I thank you for having such a great attitude. Anyway, I've been using this as a hand soap all week. My husband really dislikes it as a hand soap because it has a lot of slip. So it feels really moisturizing. I haven't used it in the shower only because I'm constantly making my own bar soap and testing it. So that shower time is really for research and development for me and my bar soap. So I've been using this as a hand soap. And so for someone who has to wash their hands like literally 15 to 20 times a day, I kid you not, uh, I have been loving this. If you, if you can see how much I've gone through in one week, like it's impressive. <laughs> so I'm really enjoying that that soap has that extra slip. It's extra moisturizing on the hands. If you're trying to wash like bacon grease off your hands, it does not do a great job because it's more moisturizing, more conditioning than it is cleansing, which is why I think it probably makes a fantastic body soap and face soap, but it makes a great bathroom hand soap. So I'm loving it. And the smell is of course that earthy, foresty amazingness. I love it. Okay, and then I wanted to mention really quick the hydrosol because I am super picky about the way my rose hydrosols smell. I have bought, I don't know, probably like 15 or 20 different versions from different brands and I am super picky. And I'm happy to report that I absolutely love the rose smell in this rose neroli blended hydrosol. And so it's just perfect when you're just feeling like you need that sort of like body pick me up or just even as a scented mood boost. So I'm really like, I, I don't know, I'm really loving this box. I haven't used the body oil too much because like I said, I'm still addicted to the body profit by free and true. That's still really my go-to when I need to moisturize, but um, it did come with that big size of body oil as well. All right, now let's do a forest foraging. A long, long time ago, our neighbors had these gigantic Norfolk pine trees. They were absolutely gorgeous, and I was so brokenhearted when they cut them down. But they cut them down because the roots were like affecting their plumbing. I don't know, there was something going on with that. So imagine my surprise when I was walking around the perimeter of the yard, kind of like away from that area, and I found five baby sprouted Norfolk pines. I was like, oh my gosh, I pulled all of them up. I'm trying to root them a little bit in water right now, and then I'm going to plant them. I just felt like this was the most beautiful blessing from heaven when I found these babies because I've tried to buy them at Lowe's before and they're like for a five foot tree they're like $80 and you never see them in a smaller size and they are one of my all-time favorites so I was just like oh, it's a miracle thank you Lord okay my Pacifica trialing has gone nowhere this week. I still have all these products in here. The reason it's gone nowhere is I had a super busy stressful week and just doing skincare alone was like a feat. And so testing skincare really wasn't gonna happen, but this week should be a little slower for me at work and I'm gonna get back on the Pacifica trials. Now, I wanna ask you a question. Okay, I am in the process of trying to sell soap at some point very soon. I don't know how soon, but soon-ish. And I wanted to ask you a question. If you were going to be buying soap, would you knowingly pay more for a brand that offers you a zero waste option as far as packaging? It's really on my heart that I want to do that 
and I'm wondering what the vibe would be if your soap was a dollar or two more because you were getting this um, zero waste packaging. And I'll talk more about that if it comes to fruition. Okay, the second thing I wanted to say is my cleansing oil. I am getting close. I made one version that comes off and one version that you have to remove with a cloth. I have asked this before. Are there still people who will buy a product that does not rinse off? I've asked you guys this before, but if you would, please weigh in again because I'm at the, I'm at the point in the road where I might have to just, for right now, for my formulating skills, I might be going with a cleanser that comes off with a cloth because uh, I've done so many trials and there's a dry, so, so here's the thing, okay? In these cleansers that come off with water, these oil or balm based cleansers, it is a solubilizer or an emulsifier. There's no real cleansing agent. And so for dry mature skin, what I will do is I will use the cleanser and then I will allow my skin to sit for like 30 minutes before applying anything. And I will see if I detect dryness. And it's not just my product that I've tried. I've tried this with products that are in the similar, that use like a similar ingredient. And it's just like, I always get the same feeling. I get dryness. I don't know. I don't know, friends. I don't know, friends. So the two questions, if you wouldn't mind answering below, would you buy soap that's a little bit more expensive than maybe it's, you know, counterparts on the market if you knew you were getting a zero waste packaging? And number two, is there still a market for oil cleansers that are removed with a cloth? Because I'm having just these deep feelings that that's the, the way I want to go. The other thing that I want to ask for people with cleansers, do you feel like all these excessive things that are in cleansers that get washed down the drain that potentially make them more expensive? Is that just like a waste in oil cleansers? Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys have a great week. Thanks for meeting me here and I'll see you next time. Bye.